Hi guys, Jenny here again finally. Sorry it's been a while since my last video. Now today I want to talk about DuckDNS, Google TTS and Home Assistant. Now if you're using the Nabucasa, the Home Assistant Cloud, you probably don't have any problems with this. I haven't been using Nabucasa myself so I can't say for certain. But a lot of people use DuckDNS so that they have access into their home assistant from outside their network. If your router does not support network loopback, then Google TTS won't work straight away. So we're going to look today at how we can get around this problem so that we can have DuckDNS working, Google TTS working, and hopefully we're going to make it so that our domain name is available inside our network as well. So let's get into it. Okay, so here's my development environment of Home Assistant. The first thing we need to do is we need to activate a DuckDNS account. So I'm going to go to the DuckDNS webpage, duckdns.org. I'm going to sign in using my GitHub. That's sign me in. Pinky way for at GitHub. Excellent. Right. I've got no current domains you can see so I'm going to create a new one here pinkywafer.duckdns.org add domain okay the next thing we're going to need is this token so we're going to copy that because we need to use that in the DuckDNS add-on in Home Assistant so we go back to Home Assistant and if you haven't already installed the DuckDNS add-on in the HASIO tab in the add-on store you should find under the official add-ons DuckDNS. I've already installed it so all I've got to do is configure it. In the configuration we want to put accept terms, true. Our token goes here in quotes and then domains here again we put our domain in quotes so pinkywafer.duck dns.org in quotes and press save. Great. That should sort out our let's encrypt SSL certificate and keep the domain up to date. So I'll just check that I've saved that and then we can start DuckDNS. Scroll down to the logs and refresh everything seems to be starting nicely good that's running okay the next thing we need to do is we need to get our port forwarded for DuckDNS so to do this we're going to open up our routers web page everybody's router is going to be different so I'm not going to give you instructions for your router because I can't say what your router I've got in this case I'm using the TalkTalk -talk router that came with my service provider at the moment I've got no ports open so I'm going to create a new one for Home Assistant. The external host is star, that's any IP address coming in. The internal host is the address of my Home Assistant on the TCP protocol and the external port is 8123 and the internal port is 8123 and we're going to press add okay there it is that port is turned on okay we now need to configure home assistant to use SSL and DuckDNS so to do that we make sure we've got the HTTP section in and we set the base URL to the domain name that we're using from DuckDNS we set up the SSL certificate to use the full chain PEM file from the SSL folder and the SSL key to be the proof key PEM file. That should be it. So what we can do now is restart Home Assistant. We'll check that the, the config's fine first. We'll restart Home Assistant and if all is well, Home Assistant should then be running on SSL. So we'll need to do HTTPS and it should be available from outside our network using the DuckDNS address. We can't use that inside the network 
if we're on if our router doesn't support network loopback because there's no way of it getting back in so we are going to use the IP address and it's going to use HTTPS okay so I've logged back into my home system on the HTTPS port if you get a warning saying the site is not secure that's because it's trying to read the SSL certificate that points to your domain name address and you're actually pointing to the IP address so you'll have to tell it to ignore the fact that the site's not secure now this website is available now on DuckDNS outside my network so all is well but if I use my living room speaker I press the power button and you can hear it comes on if I go into it and type anything for it to say it says it's playing but nothing's happened the reason it doesn't play is that your device is inside your network and Google tells it to access the duck DNS address which your router if it doesn't support network loopback won't let happen it won't let a service inside the network have the domain resolved outside the network pointing back inside the network because it thinks it's a security breach so to get around this we're going to use another add-on which again is available in the add-on store from, as an official add-on and it's called Nginx Home Assistant SSL Proxy okay I've already installed it so what we're gonna do is we're gonna configure it down here the domain is obviously pinky wafer at duck not pinky wafer at pinky wafer dot duck dns dot org and that's it we don't need to set anything else up because the certificate file and the key file both are in the default location so we can just save that and then start the add-on the next thing we need to do is go back to our router and change our port forwarding settings again at the moment we're forwarding port 8123 which is the home assistant port but now nginx talks directly to home assistant so what we want to do instead is change it to the standard SSL port so I'm going to edit this rule and change it from 8123 to 443 and I'm going to use that for both and press update I'm then going to go back into the Home Assistant configuration because we need to take away the information that tells Home Assistant to only connect through HTTPS. So this HTTP section we can get rid of altogether. And then we need to add to RTTS a base URL. Base URL. Now this base URL is the one that your devices will connect to within your network. So in our case now it's going to be http colon slash slash 192.168.1.6 colon 8123 because that's the internal IP address of my Home Assistant server. So once we've saved that we can once again go back into restart home assistant so I'll go ahead and do that and catch up with you in a second we need to change now back to our HTTP connection and there we go now we should find now that if we turn on the speaker and type something in Hello there. Fantastic. 
that's working. Okay, we've got DuckDNS running, the server's accessible from outside the network on pinkywafer.duckdns.org. TTS is working, all's good. Okay, that's working well. The only thing is, I'd like to be able to connect pinkywafer.duckdns.org inside my network. So how can I do that? Well, the way to do it is to run a DNS server in our network so that the DNS server, instead of sending the connection outside, connects directly to the server inside the network. Okay, if you're already using Pi-hole or AdGuard, these have got options that will allow you to redirect a host to a server address of your choice. If you haven't got one of these on, then what we can do is use a different HASIO add-on called DNS Mask. Again, this is an official add-on. What we do to set this up, if you look in the configuration here, we're going to use this line in the host. So I'm just going to copy that and then we'll paste it into our configuration here. Down in hosts, we're going to put that line in there. I'll put space in there so that it's obvious what's going on. Our domain is Pinky Wafer. The domain is DuckDNS. And that's org. And the IP address we're going to use here is the IP address of our Home Assistant server. I can save that and then start the add-on. We want this one starting at boot. All of these add-ons really we want starting at boot to make sure that they all come on. Refresh the logs. We can see it's working fine. The defaults there, 8888 and 8844, are the default DNS servers that it will look up any other address that isn't listed in its configuration. Those two are the Google uh, DNS servers. So if you want to use a different service, you can change those there. Okay, the next thing we need to do is we need to enable a static DNS server configuration in our router. This is the DNS that the router sends to all the devices when they connect to it. So I'm going to turn this on and set this as the address of the server that's running Home Assistant. And apply. Now any devices that you've got that have got a manually configured IP address you're gonna to have to reconfigure those manually to use this as the DNS address. Any devices that are already connected will probably need to disconnect and reconnect in order to get this updated DNS server address. So you're gonna to have to either power cycle the computer or disconnect from the Wi-Fi and connect back up again. Either way, once you've done that, it should then be using the DNS server that we've now set up on Home Assistant. Okay, with that done, now we can see everything still works here using our HTTP internal IP address. But we should now also be able to type in pinkyrafer.dns.org. Can't be reached because it's trying to connect to the non-secure HTTP site, but if we make sure we've got HTTPS in there, bingo, we're in business. One day I'll remember to type the password right. And there we go. Okay, so there we go. We can now use our DuckDNS address inside our network, even though our router doesn't support network loopback. We can use Google TTS. And all is well. If you've enjoyed this video, please hit the subscribe and the bell button. Give me a like, a thumbs up. And I'll see you again in the next video.